Transport has always been one of the pillars of human evolution and development. Considering all the advancements in transport, we now have so many options available. So here is a question. Have we invented all the ways of transportation? Apparently not. You must have come across animated movies with underwater trains. Can that fantasy become a reality? Authorities in Dubai seem to think so. Imagine being surrounded by exotic marine life while traveling at extraordinary speeds underwater. Buckle up because today we're diving deep into a potentially mind-blowing feat of engineering. A colossal 2,000 km undersea train tunnel linking Dubai to Mumbai, India. Is this even possible? Can the authorities overcome the immense engineering and logistics hurdles? In this video, we will look to answer these questions and more. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds for more fascinating videos like this one. Let's begin. We are all aware that Dubai is no stranger to pushing boundaries. They've already brought us the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building. Who better then to guide us into the future of transportation with a project as intriguing as an underwater tunnel. And not just any tunnel, but a 2000 km tunnel connecting two major regional economic centers. That's right, Dubai is planning to push the limits of technology once again. This 2000 km long undersea tunnel aims to connect Dubai and the state of UAE to the economic hub of Mumbai, India. You all must be wondering why Dubai wants to have such a transportation system, especially when Mumbai is barely three hours away by plane. Firstly, Dubai is one of the most vibrant economic epicenters in the world. Another key economic player in the region is India. With this undersea train facility, Dubai wants to facilitate the transportation of goods and people between Dubai, the UAE as a whole, and India. Dubai is looking to expand trade with India, including oil and gas exports from Fujairah to India and freshwater imports from India to the UAE. The hope here is that this train line will lead to significant economic growth for both countries. The current travel time between the two destinations is three hours by air. With the establishment of the undersea tunnel, Dubai is hoping to reduce the travel time to two hours. It may not seem as significant, but in terms of trade activity, it would be a huge step. Tourism is another reason for Dubai to plan a project like this. Dubai is already the tourism hub of the world. Imagine an underwater train with views of marine life. Such a project has the potential to earn billions in tourism revenue. Last but not least, Dubai's technological innovation rivalry with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia could be seen as a reason for a project so extravagant. With Saudi Arabia's ambitious NEOM project, Dubai needs to answer back and retake its position as the technological innovation leader in the region. And what better way to do it than with an undersea tunnel that's 2,000 kilometers long? On paper, the project is all fun and games. But how do you go about constructing such a long underwater tunnel? Let's understand what the authorities have been planning. To begin with, two massive curved concrete tubes will be submerged into the Arabian Sea. Imagine these tubes as a dedicated underwater corridor for the train. These tubes won't be resting along the seabed, rather they will be designed to float. In this way, water pressure will not be able to damage them and they will remain buoyant. The interior will be constructed to be watertight so it remains functional and dry at all times. But how do you keep a structure that huge and steady deep under the Arabian Sea, especially when this particular sea is known for being a restless neighbor at times? 
Engineers have proposed using pontoons to ensure the tubes remain stable amidst currents and waves. For those of you who are unaware, pontoons are essentially large floating platforms that act as anchors, keeping the tubes from swaying excessively. That's not all. Discussions are underway about incorporating two sets of tubes. This would allow for dedicated lanes for trains traveling in opposite directions, maximizing efficiency and avoiding head-on collisions. However, confirmation on this part of the project is still pending. That was all about the tunnels and how they would be constructed. But what about the main attraction? Yes, I am referring to the trains. How are trains able to travel underwater to cover a distance in two hours when it takes an airplane three hours to travel? Let's find out. Engineers have proposed using maglev technology to facilitate train movement. Maglev is short for magnetic levitation. It is an innovative system that uses electromagnets. Engineers plan to lift and propel the train using the electromagnets. Two sets of electromagnets will be used in harmony. One set will be positioned underneath the train. It will repel the train upwards and make it levitate off the track. The second set will propel the train, pushing it forward at high speeds. Did you know that the engineers responsible for this underwater tunnel project are targeting a mind-blowing 600 miles per hour speed for the trains? Yes, you heard it right. To achieve this speed, they plan to use supercooled electromagnets. These specific electromagnets will be chilled down to a staggering negative 450 degrees Fahrenheit. This will allow them to have a much stronger magnetic field, helping them reach extreme speeds underwater. Another great advantage of maglev technology is the near absence of friction. Unlike traditional trains with wheels on tracks, maglev trains used in this project will face close to zero resistance. Hence, they will be able to reach much higher speeds. That's not all. To further reduce the resistance underwater, engineers are planning to operate the trains in a vacuum. How, you may ask? The trains will operate in a sealed environment with minimal air pressure, creating a vacuum-like condition. This will further eliminate any air resistance, contributing to the potential for record-breaking speeds. On paper, this project may seem well planned out, but what is its real-life application? Well, the project is still in its planning stages, and further feasibility studies are needed. The estimated costs at this stage are said to be billions of dollars, and it's clear why. Although it may be a one-of-a-kind project, it faces logistical, technological and environmental challenges. Unlike other underwater tunnels, like the Channel Tunnel between England and France, this would be much larger in scale, hence creating further complications. Only time will tell when this ocean megabuild becomes a reality. All of us, though, would be keen to see this underwater dream come to life. Comment below and let us know your thoughts about this 2,000 km long undersea tunnel. Do you think Dubai will be able to pull this off? Thanks for watching and please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more exciting content. See you in the next video.